How adorable is this monogram scarf? I mean, so cute and it's so warm and it's so big. Like, I mean, this whole thing could be like a blanket. I could like swaddle Carson in. It is so big, so warm and just super cozy. And doesn't it scream fall with like the fall colors? And I just love monogram things. So I wanted to give you guys a fall inspired kind of get ready with me with um, featuring out like an outfit of the day and pieces that I use to style today's outfits. I just wanted to come on here and film a get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is by no means does it feel like fall here in Savannah. Like actually I'm burning up right now because it's so hot. But um, you know I'm lighting my fall candle. Um, I'm just trying to get into the fall spirit because it just it puts me in such a good mood, you know what I mean? It's my favorite time of year and I absolutely love it. So with that being said, let's just hop right on into the video. So again, this is my monogram scarf that I got from Things Remembered. I absolutely love it. I love that you can personalize um, this piece, which I think will probably be my favorite go-to accessory for fall and winter. It screams fall, it's super comfortable and very, very warm. So this is my purse, again, my little personal touch up top, but I love the cobalt blue color. It's right up my alley. Um, I also had the little heart pendant engraved with Raiden and Carson Lee, my two little angels. The bag itself is so spacious and it's so structured, very, very good quality and well-made. I absolutely love it gotta throw on the dolces but um i love the fact that the straps are pretty long so you know wearing it over jackets and coats it's not re as restrict as restricting as some other totes are and then of course raiden's favorite is hot chocolate of the fall nights um but i love the corks coal that you can choose your color choose what you want to put on it so of course again i monogrammed my initials with the hawaiian islands under it there are a bunch of options to personalize a bunch of products so um, I had a lot of fun doing that but it keeps your hot chocolate super super warm for a good amount of time which I love and then of course the boots can't forget the boots I mean aren't we all happy that we can finally wear boots <laughs> And then lastly for my watch, this is from Things Remembered, and I was able to engrave it with our initials, uh, Randon, Raiden, Carson Lee, and Boo Boo. Can't forget the boo. And then I just added some earrings. Um, the hat, I was kind of unsure about. I was like, do I want the hat? Kind of yes, kind of no. But I was having a bad hair day, but I kind of wasn't feeling it. <laughs> so, life of a girl, right? Now onto the makeup part of the video. This is, of course, the Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask. I love that stuff. So good. Um, this is the primer from IT Cosmetics. I will list all the products that I use in the video down below in the description box. And this Marc Jacobs Foundation. It's kind of a love-hate product for me. When I first got it, I hated it. Now, I love it. Don't ask why. But, um... It kind of looks very off, but don't get me wrong, it's a little bit lighter than what I am at the moment, but it's not that bad as far as how it looks on camera right now, <laughs> so keep that in mind. I go in with the Beauty Blender and just kind of pat and bounce that product out. And then this is one of the newer concealers from Kat Von D. I love this stuff. If you don't like a heavy, full coverage concealer under the eye, probably wouldn't recommend this for you, um, especially if you get like a lot of creasage going on. It's a very thick concealer, but yet at the same time, it's such a good concealer. Like I absolutely love it. Um, I've been using it nonstop for the last couple weeks ever since I got it, and it's, ugh, it's just amazing. But. As I get older, I have been noticing a little bit of creasage every now and again, so I go in with this airspun powder and I was getting it all over me. Like, note to self, don't wear black if you plan on using this powder because it literally got everywhere. But the product itself 
it stinks like it smells and reeks but it works so good and I love the fact that you can just pack on that product without it looking super cakey oh I love it and then I'm just gonna go in and um, use this concealer from Mac as a eye primer as you can see I already did my brows for whatever reason I try to record it it just wasn't working so I had to go up all in the mirror and do it off camera and this is the morphe 350 palette and that I just nicked a color good job Ashley but I'm gonna go in and just kind of play around with colors Raiden's over here listening to me and laughing at me but after realizing the colors that I'm gonna use I go in and kind of add tape on the ends just to kind of clean you know the ends and give it like a more crisp cut off And then taking my damp beauty sponge, I'm going to go in to the air sponge and just kind of add it under the eye and then up right there just because my tape is going to go there and I don't want it messing up my foundation. I'm really going to pack on that product um, and just let it sit there and Sista is going to bake for a little bit. <laughs> And then I'm just going to keep grabbing color, blend it out, apply it to the eye, blend it out, grab more color, build it up, blend it out, you know, you know the drill. Here I'm going to go in with the Carly Bible palette. Um, this is the collab she did with BH Cosmetics. You guys, if you don't have your hands on this stuff, this is amazing. The Morphe palette is amazing as it is, but everybody knows that. Um, this palette is, ugh, I am so obsessed with it. And the pigmentation is unlike any of my other BH Cosmetics um, eyeshadows. I kid you not. So I added some falsies and then now I'm going to go in with this eyeliner from IT Cosmetics and just kind of water, what? <laughs> just kind of line my waterline. I don't know what happened to the mascaras that I've been using, um, so I was kind of having bad luck with the ones that I ended up using <laughs> but nonetheless touching the, the bottom lashes with mascara um, wiping away the powder and just kind of you know going over the rest of the face while I'm at it and then I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia 
contour kit. This is the one for tan skin. And I'm taking more of the lighter shades um, just because the eyes are a little heavy, um, for me at least. So I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade and just kind of bronze up yet kind of contour the face. And then taking this blush from Milani. This one is the color Rose D'Oro or D Dior. I don't know how to say it, <laughs> but I'm gonna apply that to the cheeks. And then I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill face palette in Champagne Pop. And we're gonna pop that sucker on our cheekbones, um, the high parts of the face, the nose, nose bridge, cupid's bow above the brows, and then I'm gonna touch Prosecco Pop and just kinda add that right on top. And then for lips, I'm gonna line it them, line them with Max stripped down. And then on top, I'm gonna go in with ColourPop's Teeny Tiny. It's a, a matte liquid lip, I believe. And that's pretty much it, girl. Oh, let me stick these suckers back on because they was coming off. And then we're gonna go in with the matte lip. No, not yet, soon. We're gonna do that soon after I clean up the edges. <laughs> that's pretty much the entire video <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions feel free as always to leave it down below and until next time I will see you guys in the next video bye